agriculture alone can no longer provide enough employment to all. Mekong Plus has a program to create more jobs. The natural and protected forests of Tunlin are famous for their bamboo, namely the very strong tam bong, or steel bamboo, which grows very quickly. Bamboo generates much more oxygen than trees, and replacing steel with bamboo is also eco-friendly. Steel and aluminium require a lot of energy to produce, specifically for extraction and extrusion. Once it has reached the workshop, the bamboo is dried for at least 28 days under the hot sun. After it has been treated to protect it from insects, it is cut and polished. Of course, there are also a few metal parts, but we recycle old bikes for these. A frame has been made by an engineer. All parts must be put exactly into place as the alignments are extremely precise. This piece is bored to fit the metal tube for the saddle. The bamboo must receive a primer first before the pieces of bamboo are fixed together with epoxy. Once the epoxy work is finished, it is polished for hours. A total of 50 hours are needed for each bike. Then it is assembled with high quality metal parts. It took time to convince even our workers that the bamboo and epoxy are strong enough. So they tried for hours to break one bike frame. They all wanted to try as they found it so difficult to believe that they could not break it. We also show them a video of a bamboo bike ride on the Rocky Mountains of Ecuador. Wow. Rick is an Australian volunteer who weighs 120 kilos and we asked him to try and break the bike. Then we tried with two people, totalling 135 kilos, up and down the sidewalks in Ho Chi Minh City. We put three people on it, totalling 170 kilos. See how the bamboo is gently bending on the bumps. We even tried up to 220 kilos. It is a very comfortable bike indeed, and to ride it is a unique experience. It's not only a beautiful product, but you also feel it is so special. It has a soul.